and then I'm cutting into wedges. Let's get this. I do have a little spot here for my for my trash. So I'm cutting it into wedges. Make them even and consistent. Here we are with this. So I'm getting four, so I'm getting eight out of this. So I'm going to assemble. Another good habit to, to be in is to use gloves, especially when you have ready to use products. And I do do this when I'm at home. Not only just in the kitchen where I work. So I'm gonna start with my tomatoes, build my tomato, build up my salad. That's gonna be pretty. I'm going to save room for the center for my chicken. And the chicken is going to be the last thing that I'm going to um, be utilizing. Balance the red out because I have two different red um, vegetables. Balance that out on each end so they can be very colorful. So you notice how I just cut my bell pepper down the middle because I don't like to waste. I don't like to have these big chunks of uh, bell pepper sitting around. And if you do, you want to just clean it up a little bit. Let's make sure we just wipe this down with this tomato. Just clean it up a little bit. You can always use this in another salad if you want to make um, a chicken salad, tuna fish salad, or whatever type of salad you want to make. You can always do this. Use up your scraps. That way it won't go. I'm just going to put it in my bowl for right now. It won't go to waste. You don't want to waste anything. Things are too high now to be wasting money on, on your food products. Can't get that seed up. There we are. So just slice this. See how I squared that off? I square it off. Just slice it down. Just get some nice julienne cuts. Because this is what I want. It's easy to chew. It's easy to serve to your guests, your family members. And just put this down the center. The next thing is I've never had this uh, cucumber before. I thought it was cute and a perfect size. It's called a Parisian cucumber. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Nice size. So this, I can go at an angle. I want to cut this on a bias cut because I want, I want the length. And this is the perfect cucumber to do that with. These are, this is gorgeous. Wow. So look at that. So these are the cucumbers. Nice bias cut. Wow, that smells awesome. I'm, I, we're gonna consume this, so we gotta not look for perfect, perfect cut. Some of them you miss, but just keep on going with it. Let me show you what I'm doing at this point. So, so far I have cut up tomatoes, the Parisian um, cucumbers, and the bell peppers. And I'll get to add these beautiful white asparagus. Asparagus, the white asparagus, has come around to be popular within the past about five to six years or maybe ten years or so. They didn't used to be. The only way that you can find white asparagus is they were in a can or in a jar already brined. But now you can find them fresh at your local market. And if you want to do a nice colorful thing, you can combine the white ones and the green ones. And the white, how they're white is they just don't expose them to the sun. That's how you get your white asparagus. And they're very tasty. So I saw them and I just wanted to um, do something different. Now, those are going on last. And since I said that this was a chicken, this is a chicken dish. Just want to get clear my clutter so I can keep all my meats and flies in one location. Now, I have pre roasted this chicken. And since this is a salad, a lot of people don't like skin on their, on their chicken. They want to take the skin off, and that's okay. Okay, we won't have to use these legs. I don't like that. So I'm just breaking this down. So I can just basically utilize the breast. So I'm just stripping off the uh, skin of the chicken. So I just simply broke that down just that quick. And I cut, I like using the kitchen shears. I've gotten in the habit of that. I 
we're just cutting this back. See how quick and easy this is? Cut that off. You can use that. Throw it away. Now I can get in here. This is my chicken breast. And put this out of the way. Slice this down. Use the tip of the knife. And just break it down. See how quick and easy that is? So if you have a chicken laying around the house in your freezer, just break it down. Keep the parts and pieces and make a quick salad. Slice this up. Use both of the loins. Make it quick and easy. See, I'm still using my gloves. Top that with the chicken. I have some chicken that I can make chicken salad with. Have it left over. Put this to the side. Change my gloves as I go. Put that there. Since I'm no longer going to be cutting anything, I can remove my cutting glove. And you can purchase this cutting glove at www.sfrayllc.com for your safety in your home kitchen and whenever you're using tools, sharp tools. Now I can incorporate these beautiful asparagus. Put it down the middle. And that way I can break up that, that green Put some olives in there to also accentuate the um, the color and bring it out more. And now I have it. This is a beautiful dinner salad that you can put. It didn't take long to put it together. I had chicken in the freezer, and you can finish and top it off with your breadsticks because everyone. Want to and be able to enjoy something to eat your salad with a glass of wine, white wine, some breadsticks. You have a meal in one. And how beautiful, let's put this over here. How beautiful is that? Isn't that awesome? And it didn't take long. Had my ingredients. It's only cost me a couple of dollars. It only cost a couple of dollars. Isn't that a gorgeous salad? White asparagus, Parisian uh, cucumbers, chicken breast tomatoes, red bell peppers, my greens, and my and my um, breadsticks. That is a wonderful salad. Enjoy your meal for this evening. I hope you will go out and try these, this recipe. And if you want your recipe, you can also email me at sfrayllc at gmail.com for a copy of your recipe. Or also go to my website and I will get this recipe to you. I would be more than happy to for a fee of course I would be five dollars per recipe so if you want this recipe just email me tell me what you think about the show and have a wonderful evening this is cooking with chef Sarah Ray who is an executive chef that is ACF certified and I just wanted to let everyone know that because this talent that I have is a wonderful talent it's a wonderful skill to be in the food service industry so I thank you very much for your time well I give you my time so we can have this beautiful salad for this evening. Don't forget the dressing. You made it from I made it from scratch. You know what's in it. There's no mystery in this dressing. Thank you and have a good evening. Go up to the face so they can see. see. Here we go. Thank you again and have a great evening. Chef Sarah Ray, signing off.